that car rebuilt in 20 odd hours with 4,000 mechanical parts. So, sixth position for that car, and the guys having pulled an all night uh, finished at 5.45 and off has gone Deferrin! The Deferrin car's in the fence! And this has massive championship implications now. They had problems before, and Scott Dixon, the IndyCar driver, has planted the 66 Acura into the wall. And the problem for them is they are way down. Tenth position in P1. And this is less than two hours in the race, an hour and 52. And he's got in hard at turn five. He's fine, but the car is beached over the kerb and he's got reverse gear, but he's spinning now. Did he push or was he jump? No, he got offline. He got about a car's width offline. And from then on, he was a passenger. There's a big bump at five and it's also damp offline. Full course caution number two for Petty Lamont. It's the classic mistake at five. You're turning on what you think is the racing line. There's a bump there that the prototypes really don't like. It was shaved a few years ago when Road Atlanta was repaved, but it still catches out the unwary. IndyCar don't race here, of course. Scott Dixon has planted the 66 car in the wall. And that is absolute disaster for the championship. They were up against it already, but you'd have thought they would have been able to get the car back into a point scoring position to keep the championship alive, going to Laguna Seca and the Mazda Raceway in a three weeks time. Now the good news is that the car's been pulled out of the wall and it's got four wheels on it and they're pointing vaguely in the right direction. The IMSA safety guys, hello to you all, listening on 96.7. Uh, making sure that that car is fit to be driven around the circuit as there's already action in the pits. A fresh nose being, <laughs> amazingly enough, with the modular nature of these cars, Scott Dixon, the only part of the front end that's still attached is the left front part of the fender with the headlight, and the headlight is still working. Uh, let's quickly go down. Oh, he's going to have to try and do a flick turn across the track, which he's done, and a somewhat chase, and Scott Dixon is back on his way to the pits for when the pits reopen. The good, the good news is the car, it's bodywork and a bit of front suspension, I would say maybe some uh, steering arms the steering is not tracking too straight so our second full course caution here at Petit Le Monde 2009 